This PAX Day video is all about blocking. Here's what we're going to cover. We're going to cover how to properly block because I bet you don't know the small little extra tidbits like how the aim is a bit weird in the blocking code. Going to teach you all of that stuff. Why some blocks are better than others. Now, what blocking actually does in this game because it's a little different than other games. We're also going to show off the damage reduction and stamina reduction comparing level 1 blocking to level 41, which is the current level cap of blocking and some other stuff, let's get into it. Now before we get into it, I just want to share one other video I made on blocking and this is the AFK leveling block trick, the best way to level blocking solo in Pack Day. Just click my channel, search the title here, or just scroll through my videos if this is rather recent to you. And yes, I just put this video up 13 minutes ago. This will teach you how to AFK level up and max out your blocking anywhere from 3 to 5 hours depending on uh, how often you block stuff. So just check this video out. It's a real quick and easy one I have all the information front loaded at the very start So all you need to do is watch like the first three minutes the rest of it is just proving that it works So please 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 check that video out if you want to level up your blocking fast and easy Now if you're in a guild you don't need it But that's mostly for solo players who need something to tank and uh, the mobs hit too damn hard. So go check the video out. So let's discuss blocking basics. This is for people that have never blocked in a game like this before, who have never played an MMO, who have never been a tank, who have never used a shield in the virtual world, not a single time. So in order to block, you must equip your shield. So I have this shield in the hot bar here in the bottom right corner. And in order to block, it must be equipped. So you'll have like a little blue highlight over the shield. Now, obviously, you would want to equip a one-handed weapon as well. As you note, uh, this weapon here is called the Fine Spear. You can see that it says Hand Spear. This weapon here is a Sturdy Spear, which is a pole arm. So if I equip the pole arm, it unequips my shield because this is a two-handed weapon. So if you want to fight with a shield, you need a one-handed weapon. But sometimes you don't need to fight at all or, or have a weapon. You, can, you just need a shield. So here's how blocking works. When you hold right click, your character will face whatever you're aiming at. So I'm going to face over here. I'm going to hold right click and he will turn around and he will hold his shield out just like so. And that's how you block in that general direction. That's the most basic part of it. Now, while blocking, you will continue to face that direction regardless of uh, whichever direction you decide to move. You can also do this while running, but you can't activate run while blocking. You have to let go of block, activate run, then block. And now you can move left and right and stuff a little bit faster. And uh, you can also backpedal just a little bit. So that's the, that's the basic movement. Also, shields have a shield bash ability. You just, um, if you're holding block already, press control and you'll shield bash. Now, this is a forward cone cleave attack. And in alpha one, it used to stun lock for like th two or three seconds. It currently stun locks for about half a second to one second, depending on the mob. Uh, or maybe it's a server lag. But let me explain a little bit more of how blocking actually works. So real quick, let me explain the blocking cone the best way I can with a simple drawing. So let's say that um, you're holding block and the block angle will look something a little like this. And it's it looks a lot like that, okay? So uh, this it, how, how this works is if the mob is within these lines, then you will successfully block. But if the mob is attacking you and they're like over here, you take it you take a hit. If they're over here, you take a hit. So I'll, I'll show this now. So here we have some boars. Now I'm just gonna fight one boar because uh, I'm gonna talk about properly blocking like one enemy versus multiple enemies. So we have the one boar. I'm gonna turn and face and block it. Now I took damage on the first hit, 0 0.5 damage, but now I'm not taking any damage. And I'm, I have no explanation as to why that happens, but it does happen. Anyway, so let me, before we explain the damage or the block cone, let's explain stamina recovery here. So when you are, when you take a hit, when you block a hit, it stops your stamina recovery for 0.5 seconds. Now this boar has a one second attack speed, so it attacks every one second, meaning I get 0.5 seconds of stamina regeneration, which uh, by default, uh, you regenerate about six to seven stamina depending on server lag. So because I'm blocking less than seven stamina damage here, I'm blocking 4.2 damage, this means I can block this single mob indefinitely forever and never take a hit. As long as I attack it in between its swings or stun it, 
I can basically 100 to 0 this boar, no problem. But it's a boar. Everyone knows you can one-shot these things with a pointy stick ability. So it, it's not a... Like, fighting a boar is not a big deal. But let me explain now the blocking cone. Because we hold the shield in our left hand, the cone is as follows. I can rotate the camera all the way this way, and I can still block the attack. So there the boar is hitting me. I'm taking damage. But if I rotate a little bit this way, now I block. See? So I have a pretty wide angle on my left side of the character, but on the right side of the character, I don't have as big of an angle because the hitbox is the shield itself here. So you can see here that just a little bit more, and now I'm taking damage. So the angle is much smaller on your right side. This means in a PvP situation, you should always try to flank someone on their left. You should try to circle around on their left side. So when you're fighting, you should always be going towards the left and then poking them if they are a blocking character, right? Now, at the same time, uh, when fighting mobs, you wait for them to hit, you block it, you then uh, shield slam them, and there you go. So pretty easy, pretty simple stuff. That's the huge basics of how to block. There's not a whole lot more to it than that. And some may be asking, if you have a bigger shield, will, will, will your hitbox be bigger? And uh, the truthful answer is, I have no idea. Uh, I also don't know if holding block, if it will block arrows, like if someone shoots your feet or your head. I don't, I don't, like you can't really aim the shield up or down. I assume you just block it, because there are no headshots in the game. There is no headshot hitbox programmed into the game. So, again, your guess is as good as mine. But, um, you know, there's still a lot of things that are being worked on, still being tested. And, uh, you know, as a solo player, it's, it's pretty hard to test some stuff. But let's move on. Also, when blocking, especially if you're in a group, what you should honestly do uh, is, like, let's say my party members are all behind me and I have a threat-generating sword or mace. I forget which weapon generates the threat. You would face the enemies away from them and then you would stand still. Because if you're moving around, the game is a little glitchy sometimes. And uh, that while moving, sometimes stuff bugs out and you don't properly block. But if you are having to run from like a player in a fight, you want to keep them kind of on the left-ish side of your screen like this. You don't want to run away like this because this opens you up. Remember, your defense cone is more so on your left side. So, the more you know. Finally, for offense, the way you should play this is as soon as you use your shield slam ability, you should then use your weapon ability. And that's pretty much the meta, is you shield slam, and then you do your weapon ability, uh, which I didn't hold control, so I didn't do it. I didn't even time it right, because control's a really stupid button to push. But uh, essentially, once you have your weapon ability on cooldown, what people do is, uh, because this shield gives shield bash rank 1, you would then switch to a shield that gives you shield bash rank 2, I don't know if they if they fixed this uh, since Alpha. And uh, then you would switch your one-handed weapon to a different one-handed weapon, such as an axe, so that you have your abilities off cooldown once again, so that you can just rotate them indefinitely. And that's how, that's how like, that's the meta for killing mobs, is you hold block, you, you shield slam, and then you use your ability, and then uh, you swap shields, and you just rinse and repeat. Or you sit there and you, you face tank them for a bit, and if you have a healer, you're, you're not going to die, ever. Now, you're probably like, well, what does blocking actually do? I see that it drains your stamina, so what? whoop de doo So, if you didn't notice from fighting that boar, blocking reduced damage to zero. That's what it did. It will not always reduce damage to zero. Some enemies simply hit too hard and will hit through your shield. Having a better shield and better defense will absolutely, uh, you know, help with this. But, um, wow, I am frozen here. What the hell? Uh, also, now, I, I want to talk about fighting multiple enemies, because when you fight one enemy, you have that small amount of stamina regeneration, whereas if you fight multiple enemies, they will never, ever give you a chance to regenerate stamina. So here's two pigs, or boars, and you can see here that I can block them, but once they, once they both start hitting me here, and they're trying to get an angle on me here, and, and one kind of did. Let's see, there we go. So, uh, the other one has now stopped attacking. That's funny. But, come on, get in there. You can do it. <laughs> Come on now. There we go. So because they're both attacking, it's much harder to regenerate stamina. You can see that my stamina is at a deficit. It's going to drain. And once your stamina is at zero, your block is released. So all we do is, again, we just shield slam, and they're stunned. And I don't have enough stamina to use my spear special, so I'm just going to auto attack them down, whatever. It's not, it's not an auto attack. It's just a regular attack swing spam. But you get the idea. So multiple opponents, you can't block them forever. I don't recommend it. 
Now, again, different enemies have different attack, like, damage values. Now, old boars are a stronger version of the regular boar. I don't really want to fight all three of these, so I'm just gonna, like, kill a few here. Or, or, well, yeah, let's kill a few. There we go. All right, we got the one left, so look at the block value on this guy. So you'll see that I'm taking 1.2 damage there, 1.2 damage, and 1.2 damage, I'm losing 6 stamina. Now if I don't block this, look how much damage I take, and this is with chainmail armor. I take 11 damage, right? So not a good idea to face tank this thing, which I just did anyway. But uh, as you can see, that's what blocking actually does. It uh, reduces the damage we take by a significant amount. Now, one question that I have and many people have is, does armor do anything with blocks? So right now, my character is completely naked. Here's a fox. I block for 1.5 stamina reduction. Now, if I don't block, the fox hits me for 4 damage. You can see here I have nothing on, zero defense. Let's slap on all that gear. And uh, right now, that puts my defense at 49 blunt, 60 pierce, 66 slash. Uh, so now the fox hits me for 2.5, and when I block, my stamina reduction is 1.5. So, so far, armor does not affect block, but let's test it on something that can actually hurt us. So here we have a boar, it hits me for 11 with no armor, and when I block, 4.2 stamina damage. And now I'm gonna try to get my armor on as quick as possible before I die. And get those boots on. Alright, so I'm still blocking for 4.2, and when it hits me instead of 11, I take 6.6. So there we go. So now we just gotta kill it, and there we go. Pretty easy to kill. Alright, I have no HP anymore. <laughs> so as long as we can fully block the damage, it doesn't seem like armor affects anything, but we need to find a, a, a creature. Are these old boars? If they're old boars, we can test. Nope, they're just regular boars. Uh, but uh, if, if they do manage to bypass our block and deal chip damage, does armor affect that? Let's let's find out together. Now we have an old boar. So this does a chip damage of, let's see, another full hit. Chip damage of 1.2 damage. So now I'm going to de-aggro it and then strip it down and uh, see what that chip damage is. If it's the same, then we know that armor has no effect. All right, so 1.2 damage. Please remember that number. Don't worry, I'll look at the video editing later. All right, and with no gear, no armor whatsoever. Will we still be hit for 1.2 damage? Alright, get back here, old boar, old boy. Alright, stand your ground and block. So that's 5 chip damage. Alright, and another 2 chip damage. So, yes, uh, <laughs> the f it looks like the first hit when you block always de deals more damage. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no clue. Alright, alright, get out of here. Let's just kill it, alright. Slam into ability, there we go. Pretty simple. Oh, there's another one. He, he watched me kill his dad. And he's sad. He's like, oh, you killed my dad. Anyway. <laughs> and now it's time to compare the level 1 uh, to the level 41 block. So we know that the old boar at level 41 block did 2 chip damage when we had no armor. And it drained 6 stamina. So let's find out. Uh, also, I'm going to get on the screen the block values right now. My block rating is 26. So we'll factor that in. We'll do the math. Now, I need one more damage value, and that is the full damage taken, no block, no armor, so I'm going to aggro this old boar and let it hit me. So that first hit's 25, and then we have 18. So 18 is the damage number. I guess the first attack is a charge, and the second attack is a tusk rend. I mean, I'm just naming these skills, you know, just, I mean, that's what the boar does. He scrapes his tusks against you. Cutting your flesh open and, and you bleed everywhere. So we, we have the damage value. It's 18. So now I have this character. This is an alt character. Clearly a different character. And uh, her skills, she has uh, level 1 blocking. As level 1 everything. Why do cro why is crossbows at 0? Is, are they not in the game yet? I've actually never seen a crossbow. But I do know, historically in medie medieval times, crossbows were like the end of nights. Like, once crossbows got invented, it was fucking... It was just over, dude. It was like, well, just, you know, just quit while you're ahead, man. It pierced through armor, it pierced through all sorts of stuff. It was... It's basically like, you know, fighting a gun with a sword at that point, even though a crossbow isn't quite a gun. It That's what they were feeling at the time, right? Anyway, let's go find an old boar. All right, I think we found an old boar, maybe? Yeah, an old boar. Here we go. Let's go. Let's rumble, partner. Get over- stop getting near your- your buddy. Alright, so they're both gonna char- here, I need- I need- I just wanna fight one. Two is way too many to fight. 
Uh, because these guys hit hard, all right? I need... Can y'all, like, not de-aggro at the same time? There we go. One-on-one! -on -one. <laughs> all right, so that's the charge. Let's take the hit, the full hit. Okay, that's 18. So, there we go. It's still two, two chip damage and 14 stamina damage. All right, so let's de-aggro. Let's get the numbers on the board, and then let's do some math. Also, can can it not murder this character? I don't want to lose the shield. Don't really feel like doing a corpse run. All right, see you later, bucko. Thanks for the test. You made it in the video. <laughs> so looking at this, block is still level one. We did not level up from that, so that really helps our numbers. Our tooltip block rating is 14. All right, I have to do one more test. This time we have a... Come on, I didn't mean to hit that button. We have a crude shield with six block rating, and also the sun is strobe lighting at the moment. I have a beast of a PC. I don't know why it's doing that. It's not me. It's the game, okay? I I have more than the recommended, uh, you know, uh, weapon specs. This time we have three old bears. Come on, you old bears. Why are y'all multiplying? 1v1 me, dang it. Look at them like one of them's running backwards. What a flex. All right, we got the old bear. There's the charge, okay? And then the block. Eight chip, yeah, okay. It's different shields have different chip damage values. And why am I... <laughs> okay, I just leveled up to block level two. But uh, what the hell was that? This this shield... <laughs> this ruined the whole video. This, okay, but it's good to know. It's good to know. This shield has a lower block value. It also has less chip damage. But it has more, I'm sorry, it has more chip damage, but less stamina damage? What is going on? What the hell is going on? All right, we're back on the main, and the block value is 10, which did not scale nearly as much as the other shield for some reason. Odd how that is. What it, The scaling is, is per item, I guess? All right, let's, uh, let's just tank that hit, I guess. Come on, boar, 1v1 me. That's right. Okay, here we go. We're blocking. Block the charge. There it is. And then the hit is, let's go, 8 chip and 5 stamina. Alright, we have the numbers, let's skedaddle on out of here. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with these results, man, this is so weird. Alright, let's just show off the numbers so that we have it recorded in case the power dies. So, Old Boar, level 41, this is with the, um, hold on, let me just pull it up in the game here. This is with the Viking Buckler, so I have the, the, the block rating 26, there we go. So, against Old Boar, raw damage 18, chip damage was 2, stam damage was 6. Then the level 1 player had the same chip damage, but 14 stamina damage. Pretty big difference there. Pretty big difference. With a block rating of 14 versus 26, that's only a, that's a 12 number difference, right? Uh, there we go. Alright, and then we had this crude shield, which is a huge wrench in the gears of our calculations. Because the chip damage is 8, but the stam damage is only 9.3, which is less than the better shield. Which is weird. Which is so weird. So what I think is happening is that cert there's like a hidden mechanic. There's a certain slider of, um, of chip damage versus stamina damage. Because, like, at the end of the- like, like there's a total value in here somewhere, right? Uh, and that total value for the level 1 would be 16 on the first shield, so 14 stam damage plus 2 is 16. And then we have 9 plus 8, which would be 17.3. Uh, so, again, I'm not, I'm not quite getting it here, I'm not quite figuring it out. But, for the level 41, uh, that would be 8 damage, right? 2 chip, 6 stam. And then, we have 8 plus 5, so that would be, um, 13. Uh, so, 13... Uh, versus eight. I, again, I, I don't know how to calculate. This is so weird. I'm going to calculate them separately. Each shield has some weird, odd freaking value. I, I don't quite get it. But let's, let's just, let's just dive into it, okay? The level 41, now I forgot to put it on the screen, but the block value, or block rating was 10. So if the block rating is 10 on the level 41 character, but on the level 1 character, the block rating is 6, somehow four levels is reducing stamina by 4.3 but some or four block rating at least but we have block rating 14 versus 26 which is 12 which reduced it by well, a good amount so i think what happens is that if your block rating is really high that you just don't take stamina damage anymore or something i have no idea how this stuff works 
Let's try to figure out the math. I'm going <laughs> to run some parses here. So here's what we know so far. Armor does reduce chip damage. That's good to know. Different shields have different a hidden value for chip damage versus stamina damage. Uh, so we're going to have to try every shield. I don't have access to every shield. This game is a massive grind. I barely have anything in the armor smithing. I don't know any armor smiths. I'm not in a guild. I'm sorry. It's not some, it's, this is not the information I can give you. Uh, unless someone wants to like come to where I live in the game and give me all the shields that are available for me to test. I'd be happy to do so, but uh, I don't know, man. Oh, so, okay, anyway, block rating has weird scaling. I'm going to do a, ch a ton of math. I'll be right back. So here's what I could come up with in the 1 versus 41 on the Viking Buckler or 12 block rating. It was a 66.67% increase when factoring in the stamina block because the chip damage was the same at both levels. It did not matter. All that mattered was the stamina block change. And then on the 1 versus 41 on the Crude Shield was a only a 46.24% efficiency increase or only 4 block rating, which doesn't make sense because why is 4 block rating 46%? But triple that is only 66%, so does that mean the, the higher your block rating gets, the worse it scales? Now, there's one other thing to factor in, too, is that not you, you don't just block with shields. I have a sturdy spear with 16 block rating here that is a two-handed weapon, and I can block with it. Which is also the same block rating as the level 1 character, if you recall. The level 1 character with the, the shield had a bl tooltip block rating of 14. So I have two over that, so let's see if we have two chip damage and 14 stam damage. Let's find out. I'm curious. Let's get rid of this text real quick so we can see the damn numbers. And uh, where's that boar at? Uh, that's a bunny. But yeah, you can you can totally block with, with two-handed weapons. Like, don't forget. That's a thing that you can do. Hopefully someone didn't drive by and kill the old boars or they moved on. They've uh, hibernated elsewhere. All right, old boars. Final test, and then I'll leave you guys alone. I'll let you guys rest in peace until the respawn happens. All right, one-on-one. One-on-one. On one. Oh, the one in the back this time. Okay, we're, we're holding block. 16, charge. The, there we go. 11. There's no chip. There's no, there's no stam drain. It's just 11 damage instead of... Well, I have armor on, so it's 11 damage instead of 16. So you get a little bit of damage reduction when you block with a two-handed weapon, but you don't... Dude, none of this makes sense. No, <laughs> blocking in this game, like, the whole block mechanic, there's some hidden mechanics, right? Block, there's more to blocking than just a block rating, rating. There, there something's going on. There is just, I, I, I don't have answers, but hopefully this video helped you understand a little bit better about how blocking works, and is it worth it to level up your blocking all the way? Well, I mean, to be honest, it, it took me like five hours. You could do it in three with the, with the video that I provided do, if you did it right. So it's not really a big time sink to completely max something out. And uh, the meta is shields and one-handed weapons anyway in PvE and PvP. So just letting you know. Uh, th this is an exhausting video because uh, results are kind of inconclusive. And I'm sorry for that, but... You know, New World had this problem, and it wasn't because the numbers or the tooltips. Well, the, the tooltips and the numbers were all wrong and just place older numbers. It was the pr it was a huge programming error because they outsourced their programming of this mechanic, and uh, it was it's a mess. And that game never got fixed. So here's hoping that the devs are actually on the ball with this kind of stuff, and it'll get fixed or normalized or explained or mathed out. But that, that's it for me. I'm I'm done testing shields. Hopefully you learned a little something. Please leave a like because this took a lot of time and effort out of uh, my farm duties. Uh, boss Lobbies bought me this game. I'm supposed to be his little gathering, you know, person going out and mining and stuff like a... Like, like one of the worker bees in like StarCraft or Warcraft, you know, I go out and like work, 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 and go go to the gold mines, you know, and bring it back and build a base. But anyway, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, if you want to play with me, I'm on Prometheus. I'm on the, what's the map called? The map is called the province of Enos Gallia, and I'm here in the southwest corner. This is Nones, and I'm right here in the corner. Come, come visit our little homestead. Mwah. Drop me a gift if you want. I don't know. Thank you so much. And, uh, what else? Oh, click the video on the right side of your screen. If you don't, then you're going to stub your toe. It's going to really hurt. Or you're going to, you're going to stub your ankle bone. I really hate when that happens.